Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I did a lot of cleaning today. We're trying, um, Emily has moved out of the apartment. Now I think she's officially out pretty much. We just have the garbage to take care of and clean. And she's in the little house and I've been bringing stuff home here so I can wash it and right now I've got a load of wash going so if you hear any noise that's probably what it is it's wash going in my washer I haven't and the dryer is running also but um, she's got a nice little house that she's going to be living in and the apartment I want to clean it out finish cleaning it out we have to get rid of the garbage and Jim's going to see in the floor in the in the living room. It did have a wood floor down there, but her dog has ruined it, unfortunately. So now we have to repair and we're going to put linoleum down rather than wood floor because it's very expensive and I want to, and I do want to sell the house. I don't want to hang on to it. So that's what we plan to do. Clean it up a little more and put down a new floor and put it on the market. So if anybody's in for the market and want to live in this cute little town, <laughs> it's it's a nice rental property. Or you open it up and make it your own house. But I don't want it. <laughs> so um, the the when I was driving home, it was foggy. It was the air must be cooling down and the ground must be warm or else maybe the other way around I don't know I, I think, think the air is cooling and, and the ground is warm because all the snow is melting yeah and the chickens I had to chase off the the top of that thing again and um, I was I was right in the stretching your arms out how tall you are but it was wrong this way so if you want to figure it out you can figure it out <laughs> I had some that actually did it and they were surprised to find out that when you stretch your arm out. Another thing that they used to teach us, and this was in homemaking, they used to teach us that if you took the the um, material, fabric. fabric, yeah, and you wanted to know about a yard, you used to touch your nose and take your arm out. And that's supposed to be a, about 36 inches. It might give or take a little, depending on how long your arm is. Um, and also, if you want to measure by the inch, <laughs> you can use this part of your knuckle, and you can oh. guess it can. It's a it's an estimated kind of thing because I don't know I don't know if mine is an inch, and it depends on how big your hands are, as to how big that inch is. So those are different measurements. So if you want to know how how many feet it is, you can put your arms out, and you can roll yourself on the wall, and you'll know how big a room is. Or it gives you a general idea and if you want to measure out material or you have to do string and you want to do so many feet of string you just touch your nose and keep going and it will tell you approximately keep your face keep straight. St straight yeah don't look don't turn your head keep your head straight so that your arm and your so you're at a right angle did you get that <laughs> My fingers look funny in the camera. Oh my goodness! I looked in the I looked in the little view thing, where you're not supposed to look. You're supposed to look right at you. And it did it again, but I it was the corner of my eye. My um, peripheral. peripheral vision is pretty good. I had it tested when I had an eye, eye tested, and when I go in March again for my eye test they will probably do it again and they do the puffing to see if you have um, glaucoma. glaucoma which my father had glaucoma so they're really looking for it in, in us apparently it's something that tr goes through families hereditary. is hereditary yeah you're filling in all those words <laughs> that I would get to eventually <laughs> but I don't get it to him right away his brain is working faster than mine it's ticking faster like a clock no, he didn't know I was going to say that. <laughs> Did you? No. No. TikTok. No. TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, and, and our cuckoo clock. I should weigh the weights that are on it because right now we're using window weights to keep the cuckoo clock keeping up good time. The the um, pine cone weights that were on it 
must be a hair too light. It's about a quarter pound difference. I quarter did pound difference? Did you weigh them? Yep, I weighed them. The, the weights on there now are about a quarter of a pound heavier than the... It's too the, bad that the other isn't heavy enough. I wonder why yeah. they didn't make it heavy enough. That's too bad because... When it was brand new and everything was all tight and, and perfectly lined up, it probably was perfect. Perfect. But Possibly. Yeah, remember, because the acorns, are, or I mean the pine cone weights are a lot prettier than the window weights. We had old windows. Remember those windows that had the ropes in it and the pulleys and, and the weights that are in the window? Well, that's what we used. We saved them. When we redid our house, we had um, that kind of window. And so he saved a few of those weights. I don't know if how many he saved, but he did save them. And um, they came in handy. It's a good thing we say see we save stuff, more stuff. <laughs> There's oh. like that George Carlin, Car Carlin, George Carlin, Carlin. Yeah. His joke with stuff. I, if you haven't heard it, look up George Carlin and stuff. It's really funny. I I've mentioned it before, but. Maybe there's new people here that haven't heard it. And you will just die laughing. And every time you think of stuff, you're going to crack up because that's what happened to us. But of course, I find things funny that maybe other people don't find funny. But I did. I We would go past a lawn sale and i go, oh, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff. And the stuff is really not good, but it looked good. <laughs> so... And we would laugh. We were on the motorcycle at the time on a bike trip. And then we saw a bike, a, a bicycle bike. And it was the perfect size. And I thought, gosh, that would be great for the kids. I wonder. So we went and looked. And sure enough, it didn't need much of anything. I don't even remember what it needed. It needed. Tires. Just tires. And it, was, and it was a perfectly good bike. And we got it for really cheap. And I thought, how are we going to take this home? Well, he strapped it to the top of our trailer on our on our motorcycle trailer that we had behind us. So we were able to bring the bike home with us, which was nice. So we got more stuff. <laughs> and that's it for today. I guess we're going to stuff this into the computer. <laughs> and I was going to say back to the cuckoo clock. The oh. cuckoo clock is over 40 years old because my parents had it long before we ever met well then it's probably, it's probably closer, closer to 50 to, years or more if, you, if they had because we've been married almost 40 years i know so my, if my brother got it when he was stationed in germany and then so in the in the early, 70s probably 71 yeah. 72 73 somewhere in there early 70s yeah, yeah. so it's an old clock it's just like us ancient and old and tired. Old, no, we're not tired yet. Well, it well, is old. It's old and tired, it's but old. we're not old and tired. Are you old and tired? Nope. No, neither <laughs> neither are they. They answer, I heard them. I heard them say, no, we're not old and tired. I heard them too. You heard them too? Okay. Well, we're going to have to say goodbye so we can have um, a little coffee. I made some coffee, and I'd like a cup. I didn't give myself a cup, so I'm going to have to go get it. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. You have a great night. Bye.